Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and it's already been a couple of days that Microsoft released their latest and greatest Office updates uh, for the Macintosh world. And it's Office 2016. I did a kind of hands on review for you guys. And today I'm going to show you guys how to configure Outlook 2016. I already did the pre configuration, so I took snapshots of what I saw. Uh, so the first screen when you start Outlook, you're going to get the Welcome to Outlook. Just click on next. You're going to get this screen right here. Just get started. It uh, gives you two options. You can either sign in or try the free preview. Now, the only way that you can sign in successfully, if you have an Office 365 subscription uh, account and you log in and it configures it automatically. I did the sign in regardless and I logged in with my live.com. account. It did not go well. As you can see, it started activating and I got to this point. Outlook is offline. We couldn't find an Office 365 subscription connected to your account, blah, 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 because I am i don't want to pay for it. If you click on stay offline, uh, it will bring you to this. And I said yes for the recommendation. And I sent information about the user and performance. For my understanding, I think someone commented on my hands-on review and they stated that their Outlook was crashing a lot. So I want to see if that happens. So I clicked on continue, start using Outlook, it launches. You get this uh, dialog box. I added an account and you get this one. I said other email and on the other email, I added my live dot account and I left configure automatically uh, enabled because uh, I wanted to see how well Outlook will configure the IMAP and the SATP uh, settings for it. I uh, added the account, eventually it pre-populated everything. As you can see, it created the IMAP as well as the SNTP with the correct um, ports open. And it looks like it enabled the SSL, which is recommended, and give it some time, that orange light will change to green. And once it changed to green, uh, then you got your beautiful outlook, which I'm gonna close preview up. And uh, once we close up preview, I'm going to show you, I'm going to close this up and I'm going to launch Outlook. So there goes Outlook. How beautiful is Outlook? Now, off the bat, I know a lot of you are saying they, you guys are excited that Microsoft have finally released a new version for Office, but I still feel like they're a little behind. The reason why they're a little behind, okay, I just feel like they just added three more numbers towards 2013, right? Uh, they should have just named this office 2013 period. Why would you just add 2016? If it doesn't look like a 2016 version, it looks like 2013. That's my two cents. Uh, probably a lot of you might argue. And if you do disagree with me, hey, leave your comments right below. If you agree, hey, leave your comments right below. But once everything is set up, you see it this way. It, it feels real nice. I love the blue. I'm, I'm loving the blue. That is my color. Uh, so off the bat, you know, you got me there. Uh, very standard, you're able to change the views. So, I'm going to let's go to organize. Organize, you're able to do conversation within conversation. You can disable that message preview. That's the message preview right here. It basically eliminates this little text in the bottom of the subject. Uh, reading, I love to have sometimes in the bottom, uh, sometimes not in the bottom. I like to have the right. This is just the same as 2000. 13 and 2011. I think 2011. Did 2011 have? Um, did it have Outlook? I think it did have Outlook. Yeah, I think I did have Outlook. I think 2009 it had Entourage. All right, was it Entourage? Yeah, it was like really old. But overall, I, I'm loving the feel of it. It's really nice. It's really smooth. I haven't had any crash problems since I kind of. Uh, installed and added my account to it. I do see like if you go to Outlook you have activate and within activate you have to sign in with an Office 365 account for to be activated. So I'm kind of assuming if I don't sign in with an Office 365 does this not work at all? Uh, well it's, it is in preview so eventually when they kind of make it uh, non-public anymore that public have to purchase it probably Outlook will crash on me a lot. Uh, I do like the feel. It, it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty legit. I just feel like it's not really up to date. It's in 2013. Don't call it 2016 if if you haven't made any modifications. So I think the only modifications that they actually made was you know that nice little search this folder feature. 
They got their little nice smiley face to tell you if it's bad or good. Now this feature right here was actually seen with their latest build on Windows 10. Uh, they actually introduced this smiley and sad face within internet browser. Uh, so that's not really anything new. Uh, other than that guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this kind of hands-on and configure your Outlook 2016 within the Mac side. If you have any questions or comments or disagreements or agreements, hey, leave them at the bottom of the comment section. Don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support me, please me, and the video as well. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.